Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be putting a gate around our garden to keep the deer and other wild animals out. And we're going to do that today using uh, cattle panels and T-posts. We got kind of a vague idea what we're going to do. So follow along and uh, we'll see how it turns out. So what we're using are these uh, six foot T-posts. They come in bundles of five. And these uh, 16 foot cattle panels. So they're pretty heavy duty. And uh, our garden is approximately 40 feet by 40 feet. And so if you take 16 of these, or three of these 16 foot panels on each side, that gives you a length of 48 feet. And so that'll give like a four foot buffer all the way around the garden, approximately. And that'll be good to be able to push a lawnmower around it and uh, walk around the garden without trampling it. So, uh, like I said, we're just gonna kind of wing this and see how it goes. We haven't planted yet. It's uh, May 9th, 2020, and we actually had a hard frost last night. It got down to 29 degrees, so it's a little late, but we haven't been able to plant anything yet. And so hopefully this week, all the cold weather will be done with and uh, we'll get a break from the rain pretty nice today but uh, it's, it's been raining really hard lately but uh, hopefully today or this week we'll be able to plant and I wanted to get our fence up so the deer don't eat all my tomato plants and, and everything so here we go so we uh, are starting with our corner posts and we know how wide the garden is we know the three cattle panels is 48 feet so you take the difference between that and the width of the garden divide by two and that's the offset to the edge of the garden and so we start with a corner post and uh, tie a plumb line or straight line to our posts for uh, the ceramic So this is what one side looks like. Three panels. So that last one on the end is a uh, is an old used panel. It's a little wonky. Holding up pretty well with just the uh, just the uh, end pieces having enough deep uh, considering we're in the middle of each panel, but we're gonna get it set up and, and see how it goes. So I forgot to mention how we're fastening the uh, panels to the T posts. We've been using zip ties, and the plan was just to do that to tack them on there initially, but uh, we kind of got on a roll and just started using those all the way around. show the difference between a uh, T-post clip, which is what these are, and how they hold the panel to a T-post versus a uh, zip tie. You know, one is made for this type of thing. But I find the zip ties are, are fast and easy, and uh, they're not the prettiest thing in the world, but they, they do the job. So really, you can, you can use either one. Um, it's up to you. Both are effective. Another thing we did was we added a, a simple little gate here. It's about four feet, four and a half feet wide. Um, so we could run a rototiller in here, a lawnmower on the, for around the edges, and things like that. So very simple, nothing fancy. Okay, so here's what we ended up with. Uh, it's pretty much what I imagined it would be. Um, it's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but this isn't Martha Stewart. It's just uh, practicality. And uh, appreciate your feedback, uh, advice on uh, any fences you may have built in the past. And uh, look forward to reading your comments down below. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.